In a landmark decision that has sent ripples across the global political landscape, France has announced the end of its military presence in Niger. This announcement, a seismic shift in the geopolitical balance of the region, comes after nearly a decade of French military engagement aimed at combating Islamist insurgents. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the captivating story of France ending its military presence in Niger and pulling its ambassadors out. Remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our thought-provoking content. Factors contributing to this decision are complex and multifaceted. Among these, the recent political coups in Mali, Chad, and Burkina Faso have significantly weakened France's alliances, creating a fertile ground for increased Russian influence. This geopolitical chess game, coupled with public disenchantment with France's role in the region, has cast a long shadow over the future of regional stability. Furthermore, the withdrawal of French troops and the winding down of a European-led mission has ignited concerns about escalating violence, destabilization of neighboring countries, and increased migration. Amid these swirling currents of uncertainty, France is navigating its exit strategy while maintaining operations in Chad and Burkina Faso and utilizing bases in Ivory Coast, Senegal, and Gabon. This decision marks a significant turning point in France's military strategy in the region. To understand the implications of this decision, we need to travel back in time to when France first established its military presence in Niger. For nearly a decade, France has been a significant military force in Niger and the surrounding Sahel region. The initial deployment of French troops was a response to the rising threat of Islamist insurgencies in the area. Groups such as Aquim and Jainim had gained control of territories in Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger, leading to escalating violence and the displacement of millions. France's mission was not a solo effort. The United States, Germany, and Italy also had forces in the region, and the African force, known as the G5 Sahel, was deployed as well. Despite these combined efforts, the insurgency continued unabated, weakening democratically elected governments and giving rise to military juntas. As the years rolled on, France's military strategy in the region faced numerous challenges. Notably, coups in Mali, Chad, and Burkina Faso, weakened France's alliances and allowed for increased Russian influence. Moreover, mistakes such as a French airstrike that killed unarmed civilians fueled anti-French sentiment and led to public disenchantment with France's role in the region. Key milestones in France's military strategy included the decision to wind down a European-led mission and the redirection of the fight against jihadists from Mali to Niger. This move was accompanied by plans to reduce France's total number of troops in the Sahel while maintaining operations in Chad and Burkina Faso. However, even as France sought to adapt its strategy, the cost of the mission remained high. France was spending about 1 billion euros per year and 59 French soldiers lost their lives over the course of the deployment. France's military presence in Niger has been a complex and controversial issue, marked by a series of successes, failures, and dramatic shifts. The decision to withdraw from Niger will have far-reaching consequences not just for France, but for the entire region. The absence of French forces could lead to an escalation in violence and further destabilization of neighboring countries. As a domino effect, this could potentially trigger an increase in migration, as people seek safety and stability. On the home front, there's a palpable sense of public disenchantment with France's role in the region. Critics argue that the country's military presence has done little to quell the violence and instability, leading some to welcome the withdrawal. However, this move also stirs fears of a power vacuum. Without the French forces to maintain order, there are concerns that extremist groups could seize the opportunity to expand their influence, further exacerbating the region's precarious state. The withdrawal of French troops from Niger is a decision whose consequences will be felt for years to come. As France prepares to close this chapter of its military history, what does the future hold for its involvement in the region? France's intention is not to entirely withdraw from West Africa. They plan to maintain operations in Chad and Burkina Faso, while also utilizing bases in Ivory Coast, Senegal, and Gabon. These strategic locations will continue to serve as a platform for France to keep a watchful eye over the region and offer support where necessary. However, there's a cloud of uncertainty hanging over the future of the UN peacekeeping mission and European training missions in Mali. With France's exit, the international community must reassess their strategies and roles in maintaining stability in the region. The transition of French troops from Mali to Niger was a significant move, with Niger agreeing to host European forces. 
but with France now stepping back from Niger as well, it's clear that the focus is shifting towards regional countries leading security efforts. This includes an emphasis on development, good governance, and education. The goal is to foster resilience within these nations, empowering them to combat the challenges they face independently. As France steps back from Niger, the world watches with bated breath to see how this decision will shape the future of the region. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. Remember the power to shape a better future lies within you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification so you never miss an update on our amazing content. Don't forget to leave your comment in the comment section.